<laughs> All right. I'm John Irving from Karan East. We are a Sunspy distributor in the United States. Okay. This is the newest. And where are you guys physically? East Coast. Physically in the Mid Atlantic area. Our head office is in Cumberland, Maryland, but we have offices in Virginia and West Virginia. Okay. All okay. right. I'm here representing them. We were the first distributor for Sunspy in the United States. So this is their new product called the Exum. And when did it come out? Just recently? We have not even got our first shipment in yet. Oh, wow. There you so go. Brand, we, brand new. <laughs> yes. We have six on order, three pre-sold, and can't get them. So we are hoping this week we're going to get more in. Okay. This is a mock-up. We'll show you what a little bit of this is. Obviously, it's a quadcopter. Mm -hmm. This one has five ultrasonic sensors for avoidance built into it and five video sensors for avoidance. Okay. Two on each side, one in the back, one underneath. Okay. And one located in the main head. In the main head, you'll also see a RGB camera mm -hmm. and a thermal imaging sensor. There, there. Okay. And the video that you can store for just a live feed. Mm -hmm. There's also a light to light the uh, light up the whatever you're trying to inspect and see. And so you're thinking this is more like uh, tower inspections, building this inspections, is, kind of this stuff. This is more for mapping and inspection. If you have a lot to map, you're not want to go this route. You're going to want to go with the traditional EB fixed mm -hmm. wing. Uh, but if you also need to do vertical inspection, bridge inspections, towers, lines, any buildings, even inside a building, we can uh, operate this without the GPS signal by going back into the manual mode and with a Xbox joystick kind of contraption, you can fly it inside a building or a tunnel. Okay. And what's the range, outside let's say, what's the range of this guy? You're going to have 22 minutes of flight time <clears throat> and the price is about $43,000 including all the software. The planning software, the flight software, and the post-processing software by Fix 4D is included. And so, and so this is 43. The basic EB is 25, and then 50 for the RTK. That's correct. Okay. And and uh, let's see. Um, every, everything is you guys built, right? This is all you guys own in shop. You're not using proprietary sense products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The only thing that they outsource is the post-processing software portion of the Fix 4D because that's the Cadillac in processing. Right. And they write it for them. Okay, cool. And so when you buy this, that's all included? All included. Okay. All right, cool. And then what's the uh, so what's the size of the battery on there? The battery is a lithium polymer. It's pretty big. And so is this, what's the size? So this 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 doesn't violate the air, the flying standards, I don't think. No, but it's... It's too uh, small. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. It's, uh, what is it, 7,200? 72, 72, yeah. 7,200 milliamps. And that's the bulk of the weight. I mean, if you, if you lift them up... Okay. I'm going to give it a quick... Yeah. Okay, cool. Compared cool. to the battery, right? it's quite considerable. And just so you can see, this is carbon fiber. It protects all these. Mm -hmm. There are also indicator lights on each of the rotors. Mm -hmm. Sensors. Sensors. Sensor, sensor. And so even though you can fly it with your with your control, you can do all the, the flight programming with an iPad or a mobile device, or you do that as ahead far of time as in the flight computer. Or yeah. pre flight. Pre flight. Pre flight can be with any computer. Okay. Um, and then during the flight, we recommend a tough pad or a CL920 for motion. Okay. You want something that's IP65 for outside use? We recommend anyway, and something with a USB port. Okay. Because the the FM transmitter is powered and controlled by USB. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And the and the and the range of the transmitter, the maximum range of the transmitter? One and a half to two miles. Okay, oh, so this is made for not necessarily line of sight. These are made for all over the world. So okay. the line of sight ruling in the United States, true enough, that's as far as you're supposed to buy here, under okay. 400 feet. Okay. But in other countries, there aren't that restriction. Okay, cool. And so where's the where's the EB been selling the best? Is it US? Is it outside the US? Probably outside the US, all over, right? All over. We've okay. already sold probably 150 EBs in the United States in the past two and a half years. Cool. Uh, to all markets, with ag, uh, mining, lumber, insurance, surveying, engineering. Cool. You name it. Cool. Awesome. Well, super cool, man. Thanks, John. That was cool. Thank you. For the uh, the, the new SenseFly stuff. Awesome.